It's what Griffith City Council doesn't want to see any more of this vintage. Grape trucks losing heavy loads and causing slippery roads for motorists. Some significant concerns with regards to road safety, particularly if uh, vehicles travel across those grapes, uh, which are spilled on the road. Uh, the, the road uh, surface loses friction and therefore uh, accidents could occur if vehicles um, lose control at those sites. Fortunately, there hasn't been an accident this season, but they're not uncommon. We haven't had any re uh, reported crashes uh, at those locations. However, uh, previous years there has been incidents where people have run off the road, causing damage to their vehicles. It's only the start of vintage, and there's more and more trucks to be using the roads in the coming weeks as different wine grape varieties are brought in for crushing. It's not only trucks and their spills motorists need to keep a watchful eye out for, grape harvesters are out in force. Particularly at night time, um, harvesting normally takes place between the hours of uh, darkness and dawn, so therefore um, they'll be out in the roads, um, it's a busy time of the year. For grape growers it's extremely important not to overload trucks, A spillage usually occurs when a truck enters an intersection and slows or stops, causing the load to shift. And those drivers who are caught spilling loads face fines of anywhere upwards of $1,500, which is enough to sour any harvest. It is a significant amount and it takes uh, a bit of a din out of the grape harvest if, uh, if you have to take some money out to pay a fine on your way to the, to the uh, winery. Dean Foscarini, Win News.